Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our online English class. I'm thrilled to have you here today. In this lesson, we're going to delve into the versatile and commonly used verb have. So, why is have so important? Well, it serves various purposes, and mastering its usage can significantly enhance your English proficiency. Let's have a closer look. Firstly, have is often used to indicate possession. For example, I have a laptop, or she has an interesting book. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Now, let's move on to how we use have in expressions related to experiences. You might say, I have a great time at the park, or they have a lot of fun during the holidays. Additionally, have is crucial in forming perfect tenses. You might hear or use phrases like I have studied for hours, or she has visited that museum before. Remember, have can also express obligations or necessities. For instance, I have to finish my homework, or you have to attend the meeting. To sum it up, whether it's about possession, experiences, perfect tenses, or obligations, the verb have is a powerhouse in the English language. I hope this brief overview helps you understand and use have more confidently. If you have any questions, or if there is a specific topic you'd like me to cover in the future, feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, happy learning, and remember to subscribe for more English lessons. Thank you for being here. Hey Mark, do you have a minute? I have a question about the upcoming project. Of course, Sarah. I always have time for your questions. What's on your mind? Well, I was wondering if you have any insights on how to approach the client meeting next week. I've heard they have specific expectations. Ah, yes. I've had a similar experience last year. What you should do is have a detailed proposal ready. It will have a positive impact, and the client will have a clearer understanding of our ideas. That's a great point. I also heard that they have a preference for innovative solutions. Do you think we should have a brainstorming session before the meeting? Absolutely. Having a brainstorming session can help us have fresh ideas and be more prepared. We can have a diverse set of perspectives, and it will ensure that we have all angles covered. Thanks, Mark. I'm glad I have your guidance on this. I'll make sure to have the proposal and schedule the brainstorming session before the meeting. You're welcome, Sarah. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. I'm here to help.